Come back at us, yeah. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Whoa! <laughs> is EDFPV. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm calling it at least. These are, what is this, EDF? EDF motors. What you would typically have on like a foam board jet. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, I got the idea from Quad Mover just recently. I saw one of his YouTube videos and he was flying something similar to this, but when he flew his, he didn't have FPV on it. I thought it'd be really cool to stick FPV on one and see how it flies. Nice. The last time I remember seeing anything like this or hearing about it was back in the flight test days and they talked about how bad EDF motors were. I figured maybe technology Well, what makes an EDF bad? I don't know. I think that maybe they're not as responsive as a regular motor. Maybe okay. they'll be slower to respond. At least that's mm. what flight tests experienced back in the day when they talked about using EDF motors for a drone. So EDF, I think that stands for electric ducted fan, right? right? Yep. Could you technically say this is a jet? I think it is. is. It technically I think it's a jet? Technically I think we should jet. say it anyways. I think we've got jet drones. So yeah, the EDF actually comes as a plastic tube with the motor mounted to it. And then I actually had to cut this frame out of uh, G10 on my okay. CNC router and then glue the ducts to the frame. Oh, so I thought about, just glued in yeah, there, Yeah, they're huh? just glued on there. This is not the type of thrust system we usually use. Typically, on a drone, we've got a motor mounted to an arm and a propeller mounted to the motor. But this is not really a prop in there. That's like a fan. What is it, like 10 blades and they overlap? How many are there? 12 blades. So there's 12 blades. What would you say the size of this? I mean, these look like two inch fan I think props? They're about, yeah, it's two inches. Finding clockwise and counterclockwise EDF motors was a challenge. Like the first time I bought these, I ended oh, up buying- Oh, it all comes as one unit. It's not yeah. like you could just buy four motors and then buy the different propellers. direction props. Yeah, oh. like I, I, I originally bought four clockwise by accident thinking, oh, this will work fine. And then I got them like, oh, darn it. You need the spinny boys to spin in two different directions on the opposing axes. And when you want to yaw, you spin up the props that are going in the same direction to get that yaw force. If all four props were spinning in the same direction, it would just go, woo! But I'm curious how much yaw authority you'll actually get out of this because this seems very heavy for what's effectively a two inch prop. Right, yeah, it is pretty heavy. Those are some pretty big motors. It's taller than it is wide. So this is, is a 2611 wide. motor. Oh. This is a bigger motor than we use on any of our five inch quads and it's all driving this little two inch wow. fan, which is telling me there's something going on here. 4600 KV. <laughs> yeah, that's insane, right? So what, what type of battery are we using? It's, a four cell? It's rated for three or four cells. So what? Put a four cell on it, yeah. 45 amps. Four times 45, I mean, that's about what our drones are rated for. I mean, that's, that's a lot of amps. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, we're, I think we'll hit the limitation of the battery. Like, there's no battery. To, I don't care what the C rating <laughs> tells you. I do definitely have some durability concerns. I mean, this whole thing is plastic, right? So the motor is actually suspended by this plastic right. duct itself, and it's hanging out there. I think on a crash, if you hit that bell, you're probably just gonna shatter this thing. Right. So, so I would not call this crash proof. These were made to be glued into foam board airplanes, not hung off a yeah, G10 frame and power loop. You typically don't crash a foam board airplane very often. And if yeah. you do, you're not flying it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's fly this thing. I wanna see what this thing can do. Maybe it's gonna just rip by it, like a five inch. Maybe this shred. is the next wave this of drone. <laughs> Maybe. I think Bango to clone this. I cannot <laughs> believe. Did you see they did they did bone drum? A nice one too. It's so it is nice. It is like, I, nice. I kinda wanted to buy it. It's so yeah. fun. Bang good. That was a joke. <laughs> we got you, I guess. We weren't trying to get you. Thank Alright, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, paper. Alright, you got a battery? <laughs> Yeah, where should we take off? Because the motor's on the bottom. I don't think I want you jumping it off the table. So when you arm it... Oh god, oh yeah. <laughs> it goes a little wild, huh? Should we hand launch it? I mean, I guess this is actually totally safe to hand launch. Yeah? You would have to try so hard to get your fingers in there. Yeah? Well, yeah, let's hand launch it. Arm. Oh boy. Oh, it's instability. Okay, now it's an acro. Oh, 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 no way! Oh my god. <laughs> I can tell this has a lot of power. That's crazy. It is not at all stable. Like it feels very badly tuned, but I just, I also think that's just a function of the motors. The sound is so crazy. It does sound like jets, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's quieter than I thought you it was think gonna it is? be. I think it's yeah. pretty loud, man. Uh, bring it up close. It's... I mean, then like a Cinewhoop, right? It's gonna be quieter than that. I guess it is. You're right. 
Or at least maybe the the tone is more pleasant. I don't know. I think the tone is cool because it sounds like a bunch of little jets. So this was fully charged when we started. I'm already down to 15.3 and I've only been flying for about 57 seconds. So I don't know how efficient it is. I think it's all right. I mean, at full throttle, it sagged down to 14.7. That's not bad. So this is when you just send it, right? And start doing tricks? You haven't flown. No, I'm, on it. I'm just going to do a, I'm just doing a <laughs> shakedown run. I'll let you do the first trick. I'm just oh, flying God. through some gaps. Yeah, it's really bobbly. When you see it, like it doesn't have, it seems like any authority. Like it just um, drops, huh? Yaw is fine. I was very concerned about yaw. I didn't know how much angular momentum you'd actually get out of those little ducted bands. Um, but uh, yeah, it's working just fine. No problem with yaw. All right, I'm gonna do one roll. I'm gonna do one roll. Here, I'm gonna come over so you can oh get a good visual. Okay, okay. All right, tell me when to do it. Three, no. two, one, roll. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Did you see that snapback? Yeah. That know. was really weird. I don't know if I got that. Well, it was like you you didn't make the full roll, and then when you applied throttle, it kind of wanted to... All right, here, I'll try it again. Three, two, one, roll. Whoa! Okay, if I ever... it's Anytime I go low throttle, so here's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, cruising here. I'm chopping throttle and getting back on it. I have to be really smooth. I'm trying... Look how slow I get back on the throttle. So chop and just bleed onto it and it still bobbles. Like if I really get aggressive with it, like chop and get on it. Oh, it seemed like it was gonna fall out of the sky there. So you really have to like, I think that's what it is. It's not responsive. So like the PID controller, I, I think is like too fast for it or it's very responsive and we need to lower P. I don't, I can't tell. Okay, that was, there. That was I got that roll a lot smoother because I just went way slower on reapplying throttle. So rather than like, catching it, like making it really snappy. I like, I'm gonna stop while rolling. Oh, no, 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 What was that? Uh-oh. Oh, it just totally went crazy. It looked broken. No! No! Oh, no, it's untaped. It's untaped from this piece. Oh, because you mentioned that. You mentioned that there's two plastic pieces and they were just taped together. So we could just put it back together and Okay. Retape it or reglue it. Of all things to fail, yeah, I think I was be, be wondering okay. if I should have put a second bead of glue around it. Uh huh. The motors are pretty warm. The basic rule is like if you can touch it, then it's not too hot. That's what people right. say, but that seems pretty hot to me. But maybe not too bad. It's like if you can touch it for a few seconds. It's just a little tape. So this thing came in basically two plastic pieces. The one that has the flare to it, the actual airfoil, and then one that's just a tube. And I guess it was just taped together. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, I could not, like, it just went into like a death wobble. Well, I, I wonder if it came loose I while you were the in the air. Came and then loose. I would think that might have what happened because yeah. it seemed like it was doing fine, but then it was just like nothing. Like I had no control. Let's see if we can we'll see it back fix it up. back up. I wonder if it's gonna fly better just from having the reinforced tape. Yep, give it enough throttle. Oh, 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 it just died. Did it? Oh. Yeah, it stopped. <sighs> One motor's not spinning. Oh, all of them? Woohoo! Whoa! It went like turbo mode. I think one of the motors may be bad. And you know how it limits power yeah. to the other motors? One motor, one, mo one motor goes bad, it'll limit power to the other three. Mm -hmm. That's not, what seems like what's happening to me is that it's one shutting down one motor and the other ones were compensating. I think it's that front left one was acting up. All right guys, so it's kind of a bummer that the EDF drone didn't work out because James was pretty pumped to uh, fly one of Sean's weird drones. And today is his last day in Orlando. He's getting on a plane in four hours and we were just at the warehouse getting ready to get him packed up and Sean shows up and I got Sean, it fixed. We might Again. have gotten it fixed. What'd you do? I mean, what'd you have to get done? Well, luckily I knew this was going to happen. So I automatically ordered six motors instead of four. So I had to basically cut off two of the ducks and glue on two more ducks and restart the motors, but we're back together again. We've got four working motors. Hopefully it goes better this time. We don't have any spares, right? That's it? No, that, this, is the last, this is the last chance. Oh. All right. It's alive. Not dead yet. All right, we'll just do a little cruise It around. looks so cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, nice. line of sight, it looks wicked. It looks it's got really these nuts. four motors hanging Ooh. down. It's so funny much looking. better than you would think it would. Get a little more juice. 
All right, let's see if we can. What about a high speed? Oh, oh okay. Wow, okay. All Is right. Yeah, yeah. Kill it what's, again. what's the voltage? No, it's it's, it's nothing. Like 15.4 from 15.8. It's kind of so efficient. like, yeah, it seems pretty efficient. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the radar gun ready, but we oh, got we a low battery. Yeah, yeah. Come at me. Come towards the 15. Drew. Yeah, we can land it. <laughs> that was pretty quick. I mean, considering how small of an that area we're in. 50. Yeah, try to come from a farther distance away. Yeah, full throttle from all the way back there. Yeah, that's oh, better. Oh yeah, 70. 70. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was. Wow. Good, okay. Man. Okay. I mean, it's ducted, so I can't hurt you. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> bring, it, bring it back. Drop it. Hey, hey! Landed this time. It landed. Is that the first time we landed it? Yeah, I this think so. is the first time we've landed this. Okay. Fly. <laughs> so you think that was all that you could give it? Seventy? That, that was, was like all the way up. Battery, that was up all the way. Yeah. All I mean, way. we could throw one more on, do it right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe yeah. we'll get that. I want a fully fast, charged fast. battery. Okay. Yeah. I mean, jets are supposed to be fast, right? EDFs like yeah. They're when you to be use fast. EDFs with planes, like the whole idea is it's really fast. Yeah. Right? It's really fast, and you're not supposed to slow down very much with them. Oh, no. Oh. That was it. it uh, oh. I think it lost a motor or something. No. I, I went full throttle and it would just. Not again. Like I as mean, soon as I applied throttle, it was. Pretty sure it's going to be toasted. Ah. I think it's more oh, broken man. than the last time it was broken. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we broke it again. EDFs are bad. Don't do it. That's the lesson for today. EDF drone. Bad idea? I mean. <laughs> It was a fun idea. Yeah, it was. It different. sounded really cool. It did sound like a jet. It looked interesting. 70 miles an hour may not seem fast relative to some of the really fast drones that we've seen here before. 130. What were you saying about this? Yeah, I mean, what's like the fastest two inch drone that you've ever flown? Right. Right? Like, yeah, I guess. If you compare it to a two inch drone, then this is incredibly fast. It's got a ridiculous amount of thrust coming off the bottom. Yeah, but I'm not sure you could compare this to a two inch drone because it's using the same battery we would use on a five inch drone. It weighs a lot. about the same as a five inch drone. These are very beefy motors. These are bigger than the motors we use on our, our five inch quads. I think what was most interesting about this, it continued to accelerate for longer. Like these motors seem to just continue to, to Takes gain. Takes a lot of spool up. Right, so you might have been able to get it even faster if you've been able to start further back and hold full throttle for longer without it just rattling itself apart. Yeah, I think apart. we did a couple more attempts at it to figure out what the top speed actually was. But we, I, you know, I think we got a decent idea. It just, it was too much power. Yeah, too much, too power. much power for hot glue and tape. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the other thing is just building this was obviously a challenge. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know? I think if I designed the frame a little bit different, I could have made it a little bit stronger, but we're still dealing with plastic. Yeah, I think you um, approached it as you normally approach putting things together, which is make the frame really tough. And this frame, yeah. I mean, it's, You're not gonna break that it's frame. a really tough frame, but the frame is by no means the weak point. It's these motors that Oh yeah, I feel like I could just break it. Just yeah. like if I just, just by cranked it. it. Yeah. yeah, there it goes. So <laughs> it's yeah. not practical, that's no. for sure. But it was cool to see, and it was cool to see just a different type of, of motor used. I mean, there's a good reason why we use outrunner motors with direct mounted props, and there's a good reason we've settled on five inch props for most of the freestyle we're doing. I mean, I think the thing that surprised me the most is how well it flew. Like yeah. I didn't I didn't think it was gonna you know, maneuver as smoothly as it did mm -hmm. and have the throttle response that it did. Even yeah. though it took a little while for it to wind up, it flew great. Yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up to let us know you had a good time. And if you're new here, don't forget the bell if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of our future episodes. You. Guys, I'm LaDrib. I'm Let's Fly RC. I'm PDevX. And we will see you next time on Rotor Riot. Woo!